Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss an introduction to matrices. And matrices are a good way to organize data. And in this lesson, we're just going to be talking about their sizes and how to add and subtract them. So with matrices, you have rows and you have columns. So the rows go across. So this one has three rows and the columns go up and down. So it has two columns and you always write their sizes with the amount of rows first and then columns. So this would be considered a three by two because it has three rows and two columns. So the next one has two rows and four columns. And so it would be a two by four. And then the third one is a three by four because it has three rows and four columns. And as you can see, that one I have letters in as well. So sometimes you will have letters in your matrices and you can have positive numbers, negative numbers, zeros, all of those could be in your matrices. Um, also, you could have decimals or fractions as well, but we're not going to do a whole lot with those. The next thing that we're going to do is adding, and you can also subtract matrices. And when you add or subtract matrices, you have to have the same exact sizes. So this one is a two by three. And so in order to add or subtract one, we have to have another two by three and our answer is going to be also a two by three. And what you do is add or subtract, depending on the sign, things that are in the exact same positions. So this is in the first row, the first column, and I'm going to add it to what's in the first row, first column of my second matrix. So that means I'm gonna add the two and the 10 and get 12 and then I write it in that same position. So I have highlighted then in green a 3 and a 5. So they're in the first row, the second column. So 3 plus 5 is 8. Then the yellow one, still the first row, now the third column. So we have a positive 1 and a negative 1 and if you combine those you get 0. Let's move to the second row. So now I have the pink highlighted five and six. And so that will give you 11. Then in blue, we have a three and another three, which makes six. And then in the gray, we have a negative six and a negative two, which together make negative eight. So in each case, you just combine the entries that are in the same locations and then you write it in that same location. We have several examples here. We're going to do numbers one, half of three, and five together. And then I'll ask you to do two, the other half of three, and four. So for number one, we have a two by two added to a two by two. And then we're going to get a two by two. And so these are almost all positive. There is one negative thrown in there. Uh, so we go five plus seven because those are in that first row, first column. So five plus seven gives me 12. Then we'll do nine plus 14, which is 23. Then we'll do a negative eight plus 12, which is four. And last, we'll do 6 plus 94, which gives us 100. Okay, so number two that you will do is going to be very similar to that. Number three, quite large there. We're going to do half of it together. We'll do the first two columns. Okay, so then we'll have a 33 and an 8, which makes 41. Then the 41 that's here, along with the 6, makes 47. Going to the second row, we have 76 and a negative 6, which would be 70. Then a 15 and a negative 12 combined to give us 3. Then 
21 and 54 makes 75. Then 32 and 43 is also 75. Then we're on a negative 8 and a negative 9. That's a negative 17. And negative 14 plus 0 is negative 14. So then you will have these two columns to do. Lots of negatives in there for you. Um, number 4 I'm going to leave for you, but we will do number 5, and it's a subtraction. So you do it the same way, only now you're subtracting. So you have 61 minus 13, which would be 48. Um, then we have 23 minus 47 which would be 24, negative 24. Then 17 minus 17, that's an easy one, that's zero. Going to the second row, we have a negative 16 minus a negative 28. I'm gonna write that one down. So minus a negative gives us plus a positive, and so that would give you a positive 12. Then we have 31 minus 0, which is 31. And last but not least, 7 minus 36, which would give us a negative 29. And you are welcome to use a calculator for any of those calculations that you don't want to figure out, especially on something like this where the numbers are kind of big. It's always good to exercise your brain too, though. Um, so go ahead and pause the video and try number two, the second half of number three, and number four. Hopefully, this is what you got for those, and that's all for this brief video on Introduction to Matrices. Until next time, have a great day.